Um. Ah! Bitch, montages are so hard when your battery's dying. It didn't break. Oh my god, there is a god. She got white written all over. She got white written all over. All a nigga know is how to fuck a good thing up. Run from the pain, sip lean, smoke tree up. When I'm in your town, press pound, hit me up. When I'm in your town, press pound, hit me up. On Dear diary, I'm mad. Hey Karen, you're fired. Okay, y'all, let me try to show you though. This the look. It actually looks more dramatic when I'm showing you on camera than it felt. Like, it didn't feel too dramatic, but when people saw the blue, they were probably like, oh. Oh. This was it in vanity lighting. Ugh. Nah. So I'm actually going to be starting off with the eyes today and I'm going to be doing something that I never do. I'm going to be putting sticky notes on the sides of my eyes. I'm going to go actually way more out. Ow, I poked myself. Did you guys see that? And that's where I'm going to put the sticky notes. <laughs> Should I prime my eye first? No. I want to go in the shape that complements my eye the most because then what's the point? Like it's like if you have monolids and you try to do something that big eye bit do and then you just look ridiculous this looks ridiculous but when you see the blend the the, the sharpness i'm gonna go in with this nyx eye eyeshadow base in the shade white pearl and this is actually the eyeshadow base that i bought thinking it was just gonna be white so i could do more colorful looks exactly like this but um it has shiny stuff in it and I'm just gonna take a thin little eyeshadow brush that's covered in concealer I'm just gonna put that on my eyes and all those beauty gurus that people try to copy that are like oh my god how do you get your makeup so smooth it's so flawless well honey BB nine times out of ten they do not step out the house and look like a flawless filter these nails make life the hardest like I feel like makeup brushes were created not only just to you know accentuate the makeup game but also for people who could not do their makeup with just their fingers like i feel like someone was like there has got to be an easier way to do this but anyways so i'm gonna take my bad habit athena palette which i think i've used in another tutorial and this is um a huda beauty dupe i don't know which one it's duping but i know it's duping one and i'm gonna be using this orange and then maybe this brown because I'm using my picture but my picture was not even the exact replica of the girl's picture so this is just high key a hot mess I'm gonna take this cute little fluffy blending brush from Amazon so I'm just gonna pack that onto the crease I don't know I just I don't even question people's makeup sometimes anymore because it's like you do you boo boo like nobody came at me when I did all of my outrageous looks the last week of school because that's all I had to do. There was no homework to stress about, no vocabulary to cheat off of, you know? So all I, all I could do was do makeup. And what were the teachers going to tell me? No. <laughs> Just because I somehow finesse the lighting and the sun is somehow still up doesn't mean I want to be here all day. Plus when my dad gets home he's going to be like, why are your eyelids blue? And I'm going to be like, listen, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to be honest, me and my dad are best friends. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Heroic, which is this color. I love how palettes, like even dupe palettes, have like names for their eyeshadows. That That's real dedication right there. Which is like an Adobe color. I don't even know anymore. Like I'm not a real beauty guru. I just do makeup. I'm going to take that and kind of focus that more towards the, I don't know what this is, Outer V. Where's the glow? Where's the sparkle? <laughs> I have gotten boys to fall in love with me with this palette. Okay, I'm kidding, but like low-key I'm not. 
and that's one thing about me that you like you'll never know like you, I'll say I'm kidding but like usually what makes my jokes funny is that there's some truth behind them <laughs> so I'm actually gonna take some a little bit more of clever and kind of create like a smoked liner and I'm just gonna blend the outside up and out I'm taking my wet and wild concealer and I put that on the lid and then I'm just going to do like I'm just gonna cut my lid out and for this part you want to bring the concealer down I'm getting closer to the camera like I don't have a professional zooming camera now I'm gonna take my wet and wild C eyeshadow brush I'm going to set the concealer just so you can really see the separation of it from the crease I'm actually gonna go back with that tapered brush and I'm gonna go right here in the inside there is no blue in the Huda Beauty dupe palette so I'm gonna go into my MAC P180 palette there's no names so don't ask it but this is the blue I'm taking Okay, so now that we have the blue, I really hope that's translating on camera the way I see it in real life. But now that we have the blue, I'm going to do the eyeliner. I'm going to take it off. Let me show you guys how it looks. Bitch. Like, to be honest, I don't even need eyeliner. No, I like it with eyeliner. Like, I, Eyeliner for me just ties it all together. Once I do the eyeliner... Um, I will come back and show you how the eyeliner has meshed into this beautifulness and then I'm gonna do this eye and watch Netflix and charge my camera battery and then I will be back for the lashes and the skin makeup <laughs> and the finishing touches. Oh, that's the eyes. <laughs> this is the black duo glue, duo lash glue because I like the warm lighting but there's just something about natural sunlight that you can't replicate with an Ikea lamp. Because it's brush on, you're using way less than if it was like a squeeze tube. You have to remember that if you don't feel it touching your actual eyelid, it's probably not touching your actual eyelid. Nothing serious. <laughs> Look at the difference that lashes make. You don't even have to be that good at makeup. If you know how to apply lashes, girl, you're good. <laughs> like, I don't even make excuses for makeup anymore. When people tell me there's something wrong with my makeup, I'm like, oh, really? I look in the mirror, I fix it, and I look back at them like, habit. Unclockable, unclockable. Trust me when I say this, I had one pair of eyelashes that I was wearing, like, consistently, and I was gonna wear them consistently until I literally broke them. Because I break lashes. Like, sometimes I take them off wrong, or I try to take off the glue with my finger or my nail, or tweezers even, and then I pull out part of the lash, and I can't put it back, so I have to throw them away. People break legs, I break lashes. When you're doing lashes, make sure that your lash is not stuck. Like if you're reusing them, make sure you don't clamp too hard with your, um, what is it called? Tweezers, because if you do, the lash actually gets stuck to the tweezers when you try to apply it on your eye. And then you try to release the pressure and then have it be sitting on your eye, but really it's still sitting on the tweezer. Applying lashes is not easy. But once you get the hang of it, like once you do it a couple times, you're like, oh, this the shit y'all was complaining about? So now I'm gonna do the skin makeup. Oh my god, it's so late. I don't even wanna do the skin makeup. Uh, Cause I'm just gonna wash it off in like an hour. The worst critic of yourself is yourself because you're the one constantly looking at your face, making sure you look okay, making sure your eyeliner is not messed up, making sure your eyebrows still fleek, you know, um, making sure that your highlight didn't come off after you gave your homeboy a hug, like, you know, but everyone else is like, you girl, you look good, girl, you look fine, girl, you look good, you know, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> this eyeliner is, isn't as dark as this eyeliner because I decided to go outside today <laughs> like, it, it really be like that like you just be so tough on yourself I'm gonna take this true beauty like 
fake artiste brush you know i bought it when the craze was happening and they were selling it at marshall's like marshall's is really the plug and i'm gonna take my infallible pro glow in the shade 209 and this is actually my best matching foundation i really like this foundation like it's so good like but So imagine being an adult woman in, in out in the world, going to college, having to deal with men and boyfriends and school and work and society and Instagram and going out with your friends, but always ha but ha like having a good work balance relationship in your life. And you're trying to figure out what color matches your neck and your face the best. Oh, no, 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 no. See, sweetie, I could never do that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my Wet n Wild concealer. I need to try the Fit Me concealer, but that's just like $10. Um, and I'm just going to dot that under my eye. God, I wish I was rich. I'm going to have to start like... A blooper channel or something where I take footage that didn't make it in the original cut I'm not gonna bake but just know that normally I would bake so good when you press the powder in with a dense brush like this So now I'm gonna take this contour kit. This color fell out, don't worry about it. Um, I'm gonna take these two contour colors and I'm just gonna contour slash bronze up the face, you know, snatch, snatch the face. Work. Yeah. Okay. I'm using my Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals. I'm so mad. Why can't I look this good when I leave the house in the morning? Like, why do I have to look basic on a daily basis? And then insanely good for YouTube. I'm gonna take this brown. I think this is a brown eye pencil, to be honest, but I don't care. People be having so many opinions they can't even do their eyeliner like you like get on my face so thank you guys for watching that's the end of this video of the blue look Kim Kardashian luxury pouty lip makeup tutorial whatever video that I'm doing I don't know my camera's dying I need to hurry up but um, don't forget to like comment don't forget to like comment subscribe like comment I don't know don't forget to to like subscribe comment um, leave any suggestions below realistic suggestions because remember I'm broke I don't get PR from Kylie so I can't review Kylie unless I buy Kylie and sweetie I don't think I'm ever gonna do that because <laughs> by the time I can afford Kylie Kylie's not gonna be Kylie anymore she's gonna be KK um, but yeah um, don't forget to you know share this with a video if you think I'm pretty if you think I'm ugly if you think I'm annoying if you think I'm funny if you think I'm entertaining if you think my videos are too damn long still share this video um, because you guys can you know you could find somebody and you could be like oh my god look how bad she is and then you guys could hate me together because you know views are views I'm subscribers are subscribers so it doesn't matter <laughs> to me you know you can hate me love me whatever just Thank you for watching my video, dealing with me and sitting, watching me do my makeup. It's not even that good. Like, it could be better, but um, anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Um, see you in the next video if I ever make one because this was stressful. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> No wonder, wonder why I do whatever I like I do